Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel and to another video and this week's video is going to be a highly requested one by you guys about how I take aesthetic notes on my iPad so this is going to be a full guide on how I take notes I'm also going to be giving you guys some super easy tips on how you can take aesthetic notes so I do hope you enjoy and let's get started So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I take all of my iPad notes on GoodNotes. So in there I have different folders for all of my subjects and today I'm going to be taking biology notes. So the first thing I do is for my title, I usually do a calligraphy title. So you can select the brush pen setting and the 0.6mm um, brush pen size. And here you can just see me doing my title and you can usually get the hang of this if you do it a couple of times. And one of the things I love about iPad notes is that there is unlimited stationery for you to use. There are so many different effects you can do for title ideas and there is just a lot more creative freedom when taking notes on your iPad. So the one title idea that I'm doing here is one of my favorites, which where you'll see me doing a kind of a double sided title where I do two colors on top of each other. So once you've done your calligraphy, you're going to select the lasso tool and then you're going to select resize. And here you can just resize your writing to whatever size you want to fit your page. Then you're going to select the uh, title again. And this time you're going to copy it and then you're gonna paste it right below it. And then what you can do is you can select color and here you can literally color any color you want and I've got a kind of pastel palette going on here and today I'm going for like a pink and purple theme. So once you've done that, then you can use your eraser option to erase the top of the title. So it looks like the half of the title is a darker color and then half is a lighter color. And here you can then select the lasso tool and go on top of it. And it looks like you've done it two different kind of colors. And then to add a drop shadow, I like to use the highlighter option and just select a grayish color and it works really well for adding a drop shadow and just makes your title look so much more aesthetic and just brings it uh, brings a lot more to your notes actually. So the next thing I want to talk about is how I add diagrams to my notes and there are a few ways of doing this and one of my favorites is to go onto Google and search up whatever diagram you want. Then you're going to click the little picture icon and you're going to insert your image into GoodNotes. Now you can find like the um, a blur background ones on Google but I just like to then actually trace my diagram using the ball pen option. So once you've got your diagram in place you are going to select your ball pen option and then you can actually select whatever color you want um, your diagram to be. So you can just use the colors that are already there. You can change your color palette completely. And then you're just going to use it to kind of trace all around the image as your guide. And this usually works really, really well in giving you a really nice, smooth diagram. And then you can just label it the way you want. This is probably the easiest way of doing the ear diagrams. You can just insert pictures if that suits you better. Now I'm going to give you guys some tips on how you can take aesthetic notes. Now, first thing that I want to talk about is that you need to find inspiration on how you want to take your notes. Um, so for me, I absolutely love doing calligraphy in my notes and it's something I've always done. So if you guys like calligraphy, try including that. You can also try and kind of go for a color palette. And something that's really important is finding a layout that works for you. So for me, I do a title, diagram, subtitles, highlighting, bullet points, whatever works for you. Trying to find a system that works for you. Now, if you guys are more interested in how I take notes on paper, I do have a whole video on that, which I will link on the screen for you guys, as well as in the description below. For pen writing, you guys know I like to use the 0.5 centimeter, uh, so, sorry, 0.5 mm um, uh, pen thickness. This voiceover is all over the place. And then I just label my diagram. And this is usually my favorite kind of aspect of taking notes on the iPad. It's a lot faster and it's a lot more convenient with the different tool options that there are in the new softwares. And then you can really customize your layout style and it's a really personalized option in iPad notes. And if you make a mistake, it's just really easy to rub out. And that's something I do really like about taking notes on my iPad.
For subtitles, I mostly like to go for a kind of calligraphy subtitle or one that I'll do a lot more often now is that I'll do a capital writing and then I'll just highlight kind of the edges of it to make it look like a, a full subtitle page. There are a lot of different ways you can do titles and subtitles and I will hopefully have a video upcoming on that and if that is something you guys really want to see, do comment below on this video so I know to make that video for you guys. So I do hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe below, like and comment on this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys!